Howdy y'all, Fern here. Today we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna be going over a gifting guide for drummers. You know, I can attest to how difficult it is to get gifts for musicians. It can get super expensive really quickly and it is oftentimes really specific uh, as to the gear that you like or want to play. So I picked out a ton of stuff under 100 bucks that I know 99% of drummers will appreciate and I've used myself so I can attest to how helpful they've been in my own life. Real quick, this video is sponsored by Sweetwater. All of the product links will be in the description below. If you click on any one of them and buy something, a small portion of it will go to help support this channel and make it so that I can continue making videos and stuff. Thank you so much, Sweetwater, for sponsoring this video, and let's just get right into it. So, first off, we have the snare weight. I absolutely love these things. Every drummer needs some sort of dampening mechanism for their drums. Sometimes they ring out a little bit too much. It's easy to get stuff like this to be able to control them. I personally own the M1 and the M80 leather in brown. Both great. Uh, this one's just a little bit heavier. And uh, you'll see that there's a myriad of different colors and weight options, and they can get pretty expensive. Uh, some of the brass ones uh, are just like a dense piece of metal that you stick on your snare rim. But those are great as well. And, uh, you know, you have different options for these, uh, but I definitely recommend the M1B and the M80 in whatever color you prefer. They're both great. I use them on a ton of stuff. I use them on recordings all of the time. Reasonably priced as well. And you're, the drummer in your life is going to get tons of use out of this. Here is a quick clip of what they do to the snare drum. Let's say you don't want to spend 20 bucks on a leather strap. No worries. You can get these Minel Symbol Drum Honey Dampening Gels. They basically serve the same purpose. I have a couple of these on my drum kit. Not the specific brand, but just a gel-like material, like a cling. Same concept. You're going to be using this to dampen your drums. These are a little bit more affordable. They're 9 bucks for 6 of them. There is a couple different brands as well, but the Minol seem to be the most reasonably priced for what you get. Another like common one that you might see are called Moon Gels, uh, but they are a little bit more expensive and you get less of them. Great thing to, for drummers to have on hand if they want to just quickly slap one of these on their drums to make them sound better. Next up we have the Big Fat Snare Drums. Uh, so I personally have the classic Big Fat Snare Drum Donut. Uh, so this is the 14 inch, this is this first one right here. This works great to just quickly dampen your snare drum and give you a big fat snare drum sound. There's various ones of different materials, some that have a bigger like inner ring cut out, some that are like this cloth material, they call them the quesadillas. All great, they're all gonna have varying effects to the sound of your drum, but the overall goal is to very heavily muffle it and create it so that you have a big fat snare drum sound. So they're very cool. Obviously they get that really big fat snare drum sound and you have a variety of options or you can get like just the jingles themselves for your like hi-hat. Every drummer needs at least one of these. It's just a nice, easy, quick way to get that big snare drum sound. So next up, we have drum heads. Every drummer has a snare drum. They're typically 14 inches, so if you want to just verify that with the person that you're buying this for, like, you don't even have to give it away. Just be like, hey, what size snare drum do you have? Because they do have 13 inch options, but the most common is going to be 14 inch. I personally love the Remo Ambassador series. These are single ply heads, and this is basically a two pack that comes with the top and bottom for your snare drum. This is great. Love using them in studio, and they hold up really well. I also am a huge fan of the Remo Emperor head. I have these on a ton of snare drums. This is basically a two layer version of the Ambassador, so it's a little bit more dense and can stand up to a little bit more beating. And the heaviest of the bunch is the Remo Power Stroke series. I have the Power Stroke 3 on a number of snares. I have the Power Stroke 77. These are basically heavy duty, have tons of internal muffling, 
and so they're going to sound great as soon as you put them on the snare drum. And if you want to get a kind of combo pack of the Remo heads and some Moon Gels, they actually have the same two-for-one pack of the Ambassador heads, and it also comes with two cases of Moon Gels, so that's pretty handy. Next up, something that is often neglected by most drummers is their snare wires. I have found to really enjoy the Pure Sound series of snare wires. I've been playing them for over a decade. I have them on every single snare drum that I own. My personal favorite is the Custom Series snare wires. They sound great. They respond really well. They hold up really well. Always important. They're always handy. I have a pair of the 30 strand and I've also used the Blaster Series. So if that's all you can find in your area, those are awesome as well. And again, if the drummer that you're buying this for has a 13 inch snare drum, just be sure that you're buying 13 inch products that are going to fit it. Otherwise, you know, they're, they're going to have to return it and find some other way to get their stuff. <laughs> Next up, every drummer needs a stick bag. There is tons of these they all kind of vary and will have extra pockets and things like that me personally i just need a basic stick bag i have this dw one it holds sticks it clamps to your floor tom they're plastic they don't do any damage it holds up great and it has this side pocket in case you want to stash like drum keys or business cards or what or like headphones whatever so super super handy to have this every drummer needs one of these again if you want to get fancy and get them you know one of these like nicer ones um, that's always an option, but personally, I use this DW stick bag and I also have a Vic Firth stick bag. Now, in line with the sticks, every drummer is going to play a different stick. It's just a matter of fact, there's so many brands and there's so many different sizes and models that you can get really lost in the weeds if you don't know what you're looking for. So what I recommend is asking the drummer in your life what stick they play. Again, not a big deal. You know, I'm sure they're going to appreciate you buying this for them. Nowadays, they run anywhere from between 10 and $16 Sixteen dollars a pair. If the drummer in your life doesn't have a preference or you don't want to ask them or whatever, I like to just recommend a middle of the road standard stick that I know every drummer starts with. That is the Vic Firth 5A in wood tip or nylon tip. If you buy them from Sweetwater, they're $14.99. Uh, for one to two pairs and the more that you buy the cheaper that they get per pair so these are just a solid middle of the road stick every brand has a 5a and uh, highly recommend them if you want to just pull the trigger and get a Vic Firth stick bag and a large amount of sticks for a pretty reasonable price they also have a six pack of 5b wood tips with the stick bag you'll basically be paying like $12 per pair of stick and then getting a free stick bag out of it so this is a pretty solid buy if I was in the market for a stick bag I would definitely be picking this up next up we have one of my favorite drum keys it is the dw high torque rubber coated rack drum key these things are friggin awesome I was gifted one of these by a friend on a tour last year, and it has stayed with me since then. Like, I travel everywhere with this thing. I play every show with this. This thing is in my studio constantly, and it is my go-to drum key. The reason for that, it's bigger than standard drum keys. It is just one solid chunk. The rubber coating makes it so the handle is really nice. It just makes it really easy and satisfying to be able to tune drums. And it's only 13 bucks. Every drummer needs a drum key. There's a lot of fancy ones, like the Evans Torque key, which I don't recommend everything else on this list is fine most drummers probably aren't going to need the tech tool or the multi-tool but you know that is an option as well if you want to just give them something that's like going to be general purpose for all around their drum kit there's gibraltar standard drum key or uh, even some of the fancier like magnetic ones uh, or like ones with keychain attachments. Those are going to be cool too. My personal favorite is just the DW High Torque. It's just big and weighty and it's my favorite one that I've ever used. You could also get the PDP High Torque drum key in yellow. I'm assuming it's just a little bit smaller. PDP tends to be DW's more affordable brand. So if you want to save a couple bucks and try that one out, you can do that too. Tons and tons of these. Every drummer's going to need these. You're going to lose them. You're going to need a backup. So it's good to have multiple of these on hand. And the reason I don't recommend the Evans one is because it's really cool and I loved using it for a really long time until it just broke. Um, so now the torque function doesn't function and the drum key just freely spins. So would not recommend spending 22 bucks on this. Next up, we have something that every drummer loses constantly, and that is their cymbal felts. There's a ton of brands that sell these. They're all going to do the exact same thing. They're just to keep your cymbals protected. They just act as like a layer above and below your actual cymbal. I tend to recommend the Cardinal Percussion Thick Cymbal Felts just because you get the most amount of them for the least amount of money. You get one of these, and the drummer in your life is probably never going to need another bag of cymbal felts again. Along that same line are cymbal sleeves. So these basically are what 
protect your cymbals while they are cradled in the actual stand. This prevents metal on metal contact and it protects your cymbals from cracking from the bell. But yeah, so these are handy. You can get a four pack of them from Gibraltar for four bucks. Super, super useful. I get these all the time and I've gone through so many, you know, it's just one of those things that not a lot of drummers think of. And so they wear out the ones that they have and then they never get any new ones because I guess they just don't realize that they're that affordable. Next up, we have kick drum patches. Every kick drum that I use, I put a patch on. Why? Because it's going to extend the life and it's not really going to affect the sound too much. My personal favorites are the Remo Phalum Slam pads. They're pretty cheap. You can get two of them for just under eight bucks. And the reason I like the two single kicks is because not all double pedals are the same or some drummers only use a single pedal. This gives you a little bit more flexibility in the placement. There's various other brands of these. Evans makes some and they're just on a price drop right now. I'm sure they're all good. I've personally just always used the Remo and the Evans ones. I have a ton of them. You basically buy them, you stick them on a drum head, it makes your drum head last forever. Okay, so now we're starting to get into the slightly more expensive stuff. Every drummer tends to need an extra boom arm or wants an extra cymbal at their disposal, especially if they're starting out. If you look at these prices, they're pretty crazy. So again, if you don't know what you're buying, you could be spending a ton of money for no reason. What I like to do is recommend people get the Wuhan and Gibraltar mount combo. This comes in various configurations, but it basically comes with a boom arm that you can clamp on to any existing stand that you already own and have on your drum kit. So it makes it super easy to just slap on anywhere. And you basically get a free cymbal out of it because for 60 bucks, Bucks, that's really really cheap and like I said they have a couple different packs of this they have one that comes to China as well that's a little bit more expensive but these Wuhan Chinas are great I've played the 12s the 16s the 18s and uh, they make a really good affordable China they're very very solid and I always recommend them for beginner to intermediate drummers who are looking to add something extra to their drum kit and we have the TuneBot or drum dials I don't own one of these personally but I know that most drummers can't tune their drums from experience and so having a tune bot basically just enables you to be able to tune your drums a little bit easier um, this thing basically just listens to your drums and it picks up the frequency that your drum is and also gives you a target that way you can like you know make sure that your drum is actually in tune with itself there's tons of videos online of dudes using these showcasing what sounds good on particular drums or what certain frequencies sound like on drums so it's a good starting point for people who don't really know what they're doing they have a studio version that's a little bit nicer and more expensive but you know a beginner there's not going to be upset with the starting brand. And the other one that I like as well is the drum dial. If you get one of these, be sure to grab one of the newer style with the LCD reader. The reason for this is that I own one of the older ones and uh, they're a little bit finicky. I do not recommend the old style drum dials. Definitely just splurge a little bit and get the more expensive one and you'll be all set. And lastly, if you really love the drummer in your life and want to get them something that they're absolutely going to love and appreciate, check out the Yamaha EAD-10. This is great for drummer who you know they want to post videos online they can't afford to go to a studio and or get professional stuff done or just want to play live and have access to better sounds and like triggers and all that kind of stuff the EAD 10 is probably the easiest way to get professional sounding drums at home with not a lot of effort I've know tons of drummers who use these and can attest to these this thing just clamps onto your bass drum then you have some cables uh, to hook up you have a stand attachment and then you have the actual module itself which will control all of your sounds and stuff. This is a pretty expensive buy at $600, but I can attest to how great it sounds. So that's going to wrap up our list. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. If you think I forgot something, please be sure to comment that below so other people can see it. And again, thank you Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click on the affiliate links in the description below. And thank you guys so much for all of your support throughout the years. Love you guys. Mwah.